one of the things when you're creating reports, it's a good idea to have um, your design or your, your environment set up the way that you want. So whenever you create a new report, you can just always have your tools ready to go. So, the, so one of the first things I'm going to do is we're just going to go, we're going to talk about how you set up your environment to easily move fields around on reports and how you can line things up and how, how you can move fields and line things up easily. So I'm just going to go and grab um, some data from the AR table from AR customer. So I'm going to head out here, just go grab some data. And I'm just going to put the division number, customer number, name, city, state, zip, and, uh, and we'll put telephone number on here too. And I'm just going to say finish. Okay, so you've probably all seen this type of window before. So this is the screen that we get when we come into Crystal Report. But one of the things that, um, that can be very useful when we're talking about uh, moving around is setting up options. So under File Options, we have our layout. And this corresponds to the screen over here, um, what we see when we're actually moving fields around. Now currently, um, I have my grid set to, by default, when you install Crystal Reports, it's set to 0.083 or it's 0.086, it's one of those. So if I turn on my grid here, and I say OK, you'll see that I have all these little dots. And so what these dots correspond to when we're moving fields around is, they, when you move a field, notice how it jumps to this dot. And so what this enables us to do is, and it enables us to move fields to a dot. Now it's kind of jumpy when I'm moving fields around here because I have my grid set to 0.83. So one of the first things I do is I come in here and I set my grid to the small size that will allow me, which is 0 0.010. And notice now when I set my grid, my entire screen goes black because now my grid is, instead of jumping, notice when I move my field, it moves very smoothly. So I definitely would not want to have showing my grid in here either, so I'm going to turn that off. So now when I move fields, they move much more smoothly as opposed to jumping around. Now the next tool that, that everyone should, or that is very handy for lining fields up, is this thing called guidelines. Now sometimes it's turned on by default, sometimes it's turned off, depending on what version you're on. Um, it's always usually a good idea to have it turned on in design view, so I'm going to go ahead and turn these on. And what these are is, up here in the ruler, you'll see these little things. You've probably seen them on reports before. These are our guidelines. So what these enable us to do is to attach fields to guidelines and move the guidelines as opposed to moving the field. So what we could end up with, um, so what this enables us to do is it enables us to, instead of moving fields by using the mouse or using the arrow key to move things, if I create a guideline, and to create one, all I do is click up here in the ruler in the area. I can move the field to the guideline. I can attach the field to the guideline on the other side as well. And when I move the field to the guideline, I can, um, I can click inside the box here, and I just move the little blue dots, and I just move the field to the guideline. Same thing this way. I can physically move it. I could use the arrow keys to move it or I can click inside the field and then use the um, arrow key to move it to the guideline. And so what this enables me to do is, as I move things to the guideline here, and I'm just going to go ahead and attach these things to the guideline. So when I now have all these things on the guideline, so if I was trying to line fields up down here and I was trying to get, I was looking in preview and I was trying to get a field lined up maybe, or I, I need to move this one. and. If I'm trying to move, if I, or if I need to add a new field, let's say I need to add a new field in later. Um, let's say I want to add in the terms code in here. And I want to put things in here. If I don't have guidelines, what I have to start doing is I've got to move this field, and I've got to move this field, and I'm not entirely sure where everything goes, and I'm not sure it's going to match up with the header. But if I'm having things on guidelines, what I can do instead is I can then just start moving my guidelines. And when I come here to so when I come here, I can just move my fields, and I can move everything on my report by just using guidelines as opposed to trying to physically move the field. And what makes it even better, normally you would not be just attaching the tiles. You'd be attaching the fields to these as well. So I'll go ahead and do that. So I'll attach all these fields in here. 
So now I have my header and my and my detail both attached to the guideline. So now if I needed to make space, so I'm here in the preview, let's say I had my, my customer number is running into my city. I then can just move the guideline, and now I've just moved the city, the header, and the detail. And I've moved, um, and I don't have to move each individual field. So I can just move everything at once. So now that I'm moving things around, if I need to make more space, I can come in here and move this. I can move this over a little bit, move this as well. I can decide here, I need to move this. Let's say I needed to add a new field in here. Let's say I need to add just line one. Let's do this one instead. So I come in here and I just add it in. I put this little guideline in. I attach it in here. And then when I come back to preview, all I got to start doing is just moving my guidelines around as, as opposed to moving fields. So I can make more room over here. Just move things across. And now instead of taking me five minutes to go and move all these fields and make sure everything lines up, I can just move my guidelines around the space that I need, and I can reformat my report pretty, easy, pretty easily. So, so that's one that's one way that we uh, that's one thing that's very useful when you're doing uh, formatting and working is to work with guidelines. Another way that you can move these things, if you had multiple uh, guidelines that you wanted to move all at once, is you can create the guideline and you can draw a box in Crystal Reports to actually edit fields all at once. What you do is you hold the mouse, you click on the mouse, and then you hold it down and start drawing a box. Any fields that you select, you can select all at once. And once I select these fields, I can actually use my mouse to drag them. I can use the arrow keys to move them. Or I can also highlight. I can do, I can do things to all these fields at once. I can make them all red. I can make them all bigger. I can make them all smaller. I can center everything. I can left justify everything. And this isn't dependent on the guidelines, but this is just another tool that we use for, um, it comes in handy to move them to the guidelines, but it's another tool that we use for getting around Crystal Reports, is the ability to draw a box and edit fields all at once. And the reason why we would use a guideline maybe uh, vertically here is a lot of times I've seen reports where, um, where we're working on users' reports where maybe the uh, yeah, field's kind of lined up like so. When you go to preview it, it's all kind of over the place. By assigning it a guideline, if I go this route, I can just move everything up here. Most of it jumps, what doesn't jump. I can just use the arrow keys to get them up here. Or I can drag them. And if I have guidelines here already, it will snap to those guidelines so it will keep everything in place. Then I can come down here when I'm done. I can come over here and say fit section. Gets rid of the rest of my white space. Or I can use the little toolbar here to, to drag things up. I can move the guidelines up and down. So maybe I want to move it. Maybe I want, I have, I'm noticing on my report that I have a bunch of line, I have a bunch of space between all my records here. Or maybe I have, if I move this down a little bit more, I even have more space. I want to clean up this space. By having everything on a guideline, I can just move it up here. And then move this. And then, now all of a sudden I, I'm able to format my, my report much easier. And another thing too with this is let's say we had um, groups. Let's say we had grouped this by state and um, then maybe group this inside state. We'll group it by zip code. And let's get rid of telephone number and let's add some uh, field, uh, some numeric field that we can do a total on. So we'll do uh, current balance. Let's do that. Instead. Okay, so also thought by having guidelines, if I insert summaries in here as well, so I'll insert a grand total, and I'll insert a um, total for my state and a total for my zip code. By having this all on a guideline, now I also am able to line everything up. So if I didn't have this on a guideline, you could inevitably have something where it's a little off um, when you're looking at it, where so it doesn't entirely line up, but by putting everything on a guideline, you get rid of that problem. Once again, we can draw a box this way as well, move everything over, make sure this one moves back to it as well. And then if I ever needed to clean up space or move things, I can just move the guideline. So that's, that's one tool that uh, this is one way that we go about uh, formatting stuff is with guidelines and setting the grid. So once again, that's under File, Options. And the grid size, you can just set to 0 .010. I always set this whenever I come into it. Even if I'm on a client system, a lot of times I'll come in here and just set this. It makes it a lot less frustrating when you're trying to move fields around to have 
complete freedom to move them wherever you want, as opposed to jumping to the dot on the grid. So by shrinking the grid size down, it basically removes the grid and just allows us to move fields anywhere. And then just go ahead and show guidelines. They, they will show up no matter what, but if you don't show them, it makes it a lot harder to tell where you're actually moving these things to. Because I could conceivably turn this off. The guidelines still actually exist. They don't go away. You just don't see the little lines here. So that's why we turn this on. Um, 